All right, we are back. 888, Shade 45. With Jeff Gerstein. Gerstein. Hey, what's up, Sir? How you doing, man? Gerstein, I'm so sorry, Jeff. Jeff, if you you see me in person, I don't want you to smack the shit out of me. Yeah. That's I play video games for a living, Sear. It's not gonna happen. Don't worry about it. All right, cool. Just just <laughs> smack me up on a video game. All right, a, a little bit. I mean, UFC is out next week, so maybe we can get together and and do a little bit of that. Let's talk about UFC now. Uh, well, Rondi, will, will she be in it? She hasn't been active. I, mean. I th- you know they've got a lot of fighters in it that haven't like I mean. Uh, Conor McGregor is on the cover of this thing, and as far as I can tell, that dude's a boxer now. So, right, yeah. you know, you know, so they put CM Punk in that thing before he had had his first fight. So mm. they try to have like the widest roster, but definitely they got a lot more women this time around. Uh, so you know, like much much wider roster of fighters to to play with. Um, yeah. will this be like all right? Because all right, will they have classic other fighters from? Back in the days, they bring in some of that. So, like, what, like Leota Mashida's in there, oh. uh, Hoist Gracie's in there. Fighters are crazy, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you know, they they do some of that. I, Bruce Lee is in there, so what, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they just put Bruce Lee in, they went and got the license or whatever. And they, you know, all the commentators just bill it as like this dream fight, like, oh, Bruce Lee, you know, Dana White often calls him the. The father of mixed martial arts, which I don't know if I, uh, yeah, I guess so, I guess so, I guess so. Uh, but you know, yeah, you can you can you can buy Bruce Lee separately and 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 take him into these fights, which I don't know. I like Bruce Lee more than most of those fighters, so. <laughs> of course, but but wait That's a minute. Pretty all right. But why not? All right, do that. Why not Chuck Norris? Why not? You know what I mean, Dolph Lundgren. You know. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna go all out, yeah, I, I would love to see them go all out. I mean, you can create characters and import faces. So if you could just like find Dolph Lundgren on the street and take like a photo of his face from the front and side, you could actually probably just create him yourself. Now, and, Jeff, and, and put him into the game. Now, Jeff, would that be like ill? I guess if everybody, if anybody saw the movie, well, I saw it's always been up for years. Bloodsport, the movie would be mm-hmm. a new video game. Yeah, I mean that's you know, Mortal Kombat originally started as a Jean Claude Van Damme video game, and then when that mm-hmm. license fell through, they just said like, oh, we'll just get Johnny Cage, you know, we'll just we'll just make a dude Johnny Cage that's basically Van Damme, <laughs> and they went from there. Yeah, so I mean that's the, yeah, people been trying to do that shit. There was I mean there was there was a Van Damme video game back in the day, but I mean you know most games when they go get these licenses, they're terrible. They're just terrible. And speaking about um, Street Fighter, 30th anniversary. Uh-huh. That's right. Yeah, thirtieth wow. anniversary Street Fighter. That that's that's a long time. Of course, like the way they count it, that's the it's the thirtieth anniversary since Street Fighter One, which like people care about Street Fighter Two, not necessarily mm, One. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they're kind of it's like the math. You know, that's technically accurate, but you know, we're really talking about you know nineteen ninety one as being the year that the Street Fighter really jumped off. But they're taking this thing. You know, they do this every five years, but. This one, it, it seems like they're doing right by by the Street Fighter franchise, which, you know, there's people that, that love that thing. So, you know, they, they're putting together all the games from the, or not not every single one, but uh, like the, the high points from the franchise. So you got two Street Fighter 3 games in there. You got a couple, you got Super Street Fighter 2, you got regular Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter Alpha 3, kind of bringing all this together. And, you know, yeah, I mean, they made a lot of these things, man. <laughs> um, oh, and getting all of that together into one pack for people. Um, and letting people play on the internet, which I think that's, you know, the last time they did collections like this, last time they had a big anniversary, mm-hmm. like online games hadn't really hit quite as hard as they do now. So, you know, being able to play some of those classics, you know, against friends on the internet, whether or even you know, on, the, on the go, if you got like a Switch, you know, you pull that thing out, walk around with it. Uh, there's there's some, some cool, cool memories, you know, a lot of time spent me not going to classes and <laughs> hanging out in a pizza place. Uh, playing Street Fighter Two, so you know I'm 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 pretty into that idea. That's that's coming out in May, yeah. and uh, and that's looking pretty good. Like fighting right now, though, like fighting right now today. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters uh, yeah. came out today. Oh, okay, and, okay. And I, I I don't know if you're I don't know if you're an anime fan, here. The porn version, but, but not the you know. okay. <laughs> All right, if you want 
if you want to if you want straight hentai fighting that's there's a whole like people are selling those out of ziploc bags in tokyo you gotta God. you gotta take a trip if you want that uh but if you if you're trying to if you're trying to go to a store and buy something you're gonna get you know something like dragon ball which mm. th- there have been a ton of dragon ball fighting games over the years because you know it's just all these dudes charging up shooting fireballs you know not too far off from what street fighter is in some right. ways uh. but but a lot of these games have just been ass and over different, the years, you know? and different hairstyles and suits. Oh and yeah, stuff. you know if you charge up long enough, you your hair changes to blonde. Everyone knows this. Oh. This is just fact. Okay. So you know you can you can do that. You can absolutely do that. So th- th- they finally gave this, you know, the, the Dragon Ball franchise to a team of people that know how to make a great fighting game, and and the results are are really strong. Like it, it looks. Fan. It, it looks bananas, man. You, it's three characters per side, so you got dudes jumping in for assist attacks, jumping in and out, doing all this shit, and mm-hmm. it's it's wild, man. I, I, I'm having a really great time with it, even though I do not give a fuck about Dragon Ball <laughs> as a franchise. But but uh, it is fun as hell to play, man. Uh, if you want to speak yeah. to Big Jeff, call 888-SHADE-45 if you have any questions. He's editor-in-chief at Giant Bomb. Um, now... I'm waiting for Punch Out. Will, will Punch Out ever become a video game? Like again, I think so. I mean, so they. I mean, obviously they did. You know, I don't think they would put Mike Tyson in it. You know, they had to reissue that game after after mm-hmm. Mike got into some some legal trouble back in the day. Yeah. Um. And and so they put out one on the Wii. They put out a Punch Out game on the Wii probably about eight nine years ago, yeah. and it was great. It was a great, you know, it, it kept true to what you know about Punch Out being like, hey, here's a boxing game that anybody can play and learn these patterns, these wild fights. I, I think they'll revisit it again someday, but they haven't they haven't confirmed or announced anything. But you know, if you think about it, like the Switch has these controllers that you take off the side. They put out a game called Arms last year where you got all these springy armed robot dudes uh, throwing on each other. Uh-huh. And and so it's kind of a boxing game, but you can do it, you know, at range, you know, across this big arena. So I figure it's a matter of time before they take that and go like, hey, put a controller in each hand, throw your hands, do these punches, and and let's make a new punch out. They they've got to do it. They've got to do it. Somebody told me like a good friend of mine, and I was like, I know he has to be bored as shit. He said, Sir, you know, be ill. Said what? He probably was hot, whatever. He said there should be a <laughs> arm wrestling video game. I was like, that's stupid. you know what. That is that a you're right. That is stupid. Two, uh, Nintendo actually they they in the arc so there was arcade Punch Out before there was the home Punch Out with Tyson in it. They actually took that same like technology, like two monitors, all this wild shit, and they made an arm wrestling game out of it. And and you could arm wrestle Ball Bull in that thing. He was under a mask. Like you would you would beat him, and the mask would pop off, and it'd be Ball Bull, and then you'd be like, oh shit, uh, and. <laughs> It is not a good game. <laughs> it is it is not a good game. But but they they at least tried it back in the eighties, man. So you know you got to give them some kind of credit for going like, hey, let's see if we can make some extra money converting these punch out cabinets into arm wrestling. Uh, Jeff, let's take a call real quick. We have uh, all right, Fred in DC. What's up? Yo, what up? I got doing good. Doing good. Hey, yeah, I just got in the car. He got talking about the Dragon Ball Z, but get over that. What's up with that new, uh, the latest tech enjoy? I mean, I'm, I'm a tech in here, and I, I always go in the store, I pick it up, and I, like, put it back down, walk around with it, you know, look at it, read it. Uh-huh. You know, really can't even read on the back of the damn cover no more what it's about, because it's nothing. So it's like, I'm very interested in it, I want to buy it. So it's like, but I want to know how it is. I mean, you know, what's up with it? Yeah, so I, I think Tekken 7 is the best Tekken they've made since Tekken 3. Uh, I think I think this is this is it, it is an awesome ass Tekken game. It, it, I mean, it's about what it's always been about. It's about motherfuckers throwing each other in volcanoes <laughs> and punching each other in the face. Yeah, uh, and it, it's I, I think Tekken Seven is is just fantastic. It's one of my favorite games that came out last year. It just looks phenomenal. They worked in dudes from other fighting games, so you got Akuma from Street Fighter. You got ah. Geese Howard from from uh, King of Fighters, from Fatal Fury in there, mm-hmm. and they actually work, which is like it's a wild clash of styles that you you look at it and you go like, "There's no way this is gonna work," but they actually pull it off. Uh, I, I I like Tekken Seven a lot. If you're if you're walking around with it I, at this point, you might try to wait for a sale because sometimes you know you you can find these things. You know they they ship at sixty, but you might be able to find it for like forty or something now. Either you get it used or, or find you know like a good deal. 
Uh, and and yeah, if you if you've liked a Tekken game in the past, I think Tekken Seven is is, is just phenomenal. Um, is it true or is it rumor that Fifty Cent is interested in making another video game? <laughs> yeah, that's that's what he says, man. He was he's been doing press for this Den of Thieves uh, movie this out, and uh, th- someone you know because he. he fi- 50's been in games before. Yeah. You know, the, uh, Blood on the Sand. I, 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 how much did you see? Have you seen much Blood on the Sand? Did you play Blood <laughs> on the Sand by chance? <laughs> I forgot about it. That is in a while, though. Man. That game. I, that game opens. I just I played it again recently. I needed to reacquaint myself with it, uh, with the magic. Uh, and it opens with 50 Cent walking off stage in Dubai wearing a vest and a shotgun. And immediately getting jerked by the promoter, pulling the shotgun on him, and the promoter gives him a crystal skull. And then some lady steals the skull. The whole game is just 50 Cent going, where's my skull? And then Tony Yayo being, 50, we got to get the skull. We got to hit that big-ass ramp, 50. Come on, 50, we got to do this, 50. And it's it's like this Gears of War knockoff that was is hilarious but also terrible. And if if they can strike that balance of... A good bad game. I would love to see him do it, but I don't know, man. <laughs> well, this is what we're gonna do. Let's play some music and come right back. Eight 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 Shave Forty Five. The Lord says special. Don't go anywhere. Shave Forty Five. The Lord says special with Jeff Gerson, editor in chief at Giant Bomb, talking about video games. Call up now if you have any questions for him. Uh, let's go to the phone line and see who's out there. Twist. Yo, what's going on, sir? How you doing? Not much, man. Hey, two questions for actually for two games, man, that I, I want to see come out. See what he got any thoughts on. The first is uh, Bionic Commando, and the second is uh, is uh, damn it, Killer uh, Instinct. Oh yeah, yeah, man. I that's I I love Bionic Commando. That's a lot of people are not into it, but dude's got his bionic arm and swinging around and <laughs> yeah. and, and all that. Uh, you know, classic back in the NES days. They tried rebooting it in like 2008 or nine, and people didn't take to it too well. Um, yeah. So I, I don't, I, I don't think they'll make it. You know, they they put that dude into their fighting games, like uh, the last uh, Marvel versus Capcom that came out. Uh, they they put him in there, but that's not enough. I, I, I would love to see them take another crack at that. Killer Instinct. The the Killer Instinct's on the Xbox One. They just uh, ran through a few seasons of characters and. And they added like the battle toads and all this other shit. Uh, and I don't know that they'll make another Killer Instinct soon. And I'm not, I'm not sure how much more they're going to put into this one. But that last one they put out is is pretty good. It's it's worth checking out for sure. Uh, let's speak to uh, Doug. What up, Doug? Hey, what's up, Sierra? Uh-huh. Long time listener. Right. You know, first time caller. Yes, sir. Uh, I was wondering. Okay, we. Was talking about Dragon Ball. I wonder, was he feel like this Dragon Ball going to be better than the other Dragon Balls? And also about how do you feel like a Justice too? Like we're talking about a lot of fighting games right now. Like yeah, I was a big yeah. fan, of this, but like the Justice Two, I, I, I love Injustice Two. And like, how do you feel about them putting the turtles on Injustice Two? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, the Ninja Turtles. You know, everyone's favorite what? DC comic book characters. That no, they they. Well, they, they, you know, it's a DC Comics fighting game, Injustice 2. So it starts with Superman and, you know, Wonder Woman and all that. But then as they release more characters, you know, as the kind of year of, of its release wears on, they start putting in guests. And so they put in guest characters into Mortal Kombat a while back. It's from the same guys that make Mortal Kombat. And, uh, you know, yeah, and they eventually just like, fuck, well, let's put the Ninja Turtles in it. I don't know. Uh, so I, I think that's a, it's wild. Uh, I think guest characters can be hit or miss, uh, and sometimes they, they do them wrong, but I'm interested to see how that goes. Uh, as for the first question, Dragon Ball, I, I I don't like most of the other Dragon Ball games. I think they're bad. Uh, so this one being made by a team that made uh, the, the Guilty Gear games, like those, those games are quite good. Dragon Ball is like, you know, it's, it's what's the difference. I think the people that really like fighting games will be able to get into it, but it's not so intimidating that you're not going to be able to pick it up and still have a good time. So I think they're striking a good balance there. I, I, I like Dragon Ball Fighters quite a bit. Quite a bit. Dragon Ball. I'm so, um, I wish I had that hairdo. But like, well, yeah, second. it's, you know, it, I don't just, I don't have enough, like, what is it, like the defining paste or like a gel or cream or something in there? Because I, I can't charge up like that. What do I, you know, <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, we got, um... Andre in Philly. Andre, what up? 
Yo, what's good with you, man? How you feeling? All right. Good, hey, good. Hey, um, I got a couple of questions for you, man. When are they going to come out with another Def Jam fight for New York or fight for yeah. the city? That was a very addictive game, man. And um, do you play Rainbow Six Siege? And if you do, give me a game attack, man. Bust some shots with you. Yeah, hey, man. yo! <laughs> it's... Uh, those Def Jam games, man, they, yeah, they, they took, like, wrestling games. They took, like, there was this company that made, like, just straight-up WWF games, and they're just like, well, what if we put Joe Buddens in it? And you're like, all right, yeah, sure. Uh, and then they got away from that with uh, with Def Jam Icon, which was more of, like, a, a fighting game with, like, you, you did these, like, you did air turntables to turn the music back to your music so you'd fight better. So it's like E-40 doing hand motions, and then making a gas station blow up while you fight. Oh shit! Uh, I, EA made those games, and they don't. They, the studio that made that last game isn't around anymore, uh, and I don't think they have the license to Def Jam uh, anymore either. They, they they almost certainly don't. So I would, but I would love to see that type of game. Uh, I think there's just, you know, whether it's just like a, a hip hop fighting game or wrestling, like like that sort of stuff. I think there's just a ton of potential. I think that's that's yeah. super fun, but I don't think anyone's gonna do it anytime soon. I keep meaning to get back into Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, I didn't. I didn't like it too much when it first came out, but they they're doing so much work to this thing. This is like a tactical shooter. I don't know if you've seen it, but like you just you're just you know you're you're like raiding the house, just like go go go, like blowing holes in walls, saving hostages, you know, guard, you know, trying to protect your hostages, whatever, whatever team you're on. And you, you it's wild, man. They they've put a lot of work into it, so I need to get back into it. Uh, my, my gamer tag out there on Xbox, on PlayStation, everywhere is giant bombing. If anyone's looking to to get it, I'm I'm around. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, mm-hmm. and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got uh, Bobby in Harlem. Bobby, what up? Hey, what's up? Yeah, I was um wondering what's up with um with Fight Night, a new Fight Night. I've been dying to play another Fight Night. Yeah, it's. I mean, you know, so so EA Electronic Arts makes they they made Fight Night. They also make UFC, and for a while they were kind of switching off. Like they don't put out UFC every year the same way they do football and and, and hockey and all that. Uh, so it's on a two year cycle because you know the, the rosters don't change that much. They were they were doing the same thing with boxing, but I think it just didn't sell. And I you know I don't know like I I, I kind of stopped following boxing and started following UFC more closely. So I, I wonder if it just got to a point where. They're like, hey, you know, like the, the just people are moving in, in this direction of, of wanting MMA more than boxing, so they kind of shifted into that. Uh, and and yeah, no one's making a boxing game these days, and, and and I think there's definitely like there's room for that. People definitely seem to want it. That's what's up, man. Jeff Gersman, thank you for calling up. He's editor in chief yeah, of Giant Bomb. Yo, if you ever play me in a game, uh, my tag name is Stack Cheddar S T A K. C H E D A seventy three. All right, Stack Cheddar seventy three. I'll look you up, man. That's right, man. So, um, <laughs> where can they contact you for more info to to know about video? Well, games? I'm uh, I, I'm Jeff Gersman on Twitter and Instagram, and then uh, you can hit us up at giantbomb.com. We got videos of all this shit, so people want to see Dragon Ball in action. Monster Hunter just came out today. Uh, you know all this Street Fighter, you know all this other stuff. We we got that. So so come check us out. That's right, man. Thank you very much, brother. Anytime, man. Thanks a lot. No doubt.